Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here. We are back with Court Arms Gates Fell Ostfront, and we are here with Liberation DLC. And this is some of the American units. This is specifically the light tanks. So, one of the things will fall into categories like so, and these fall into the light tanks. So, this is how we go through the categories. And I thought I'd do some USA tanks first to um, get us early out of the bat. So, what we're going to do quickly is just turn off the engines because they're a bit annoying. It doesn't mean we won't be able to move as much, but never mind. But, as you can see, all the vehicles are armed up, actually with bazooka armed troops, so you may see those symbols. So we're just going to go left for a while, I've dropped them down, and I've been looking around at the units, and there's some really cool stuff. So, first we have the LVT-4, now you may remember this from the Pacific series. This is an amphibious transport, mainly used by the US Marines, and as you can see, pretty cool thing, armed with two 30 caliber machine guns, quite a lot of ammunition. And it also has, you know, it's got 50 calibers as well, I believe, yeah, the 30 calibers are on the side, two 50 calibers, that's what I meant. The armor's pretty light, 12.7 being the max. It isn't going to take many hits, but you can carry up to 14 troops. So six crew plus another eight troops. So it's basically an APC, but it's amphibious. It's obviously very cool looking. Not particularly useful. I wouldn't really use it much myself, but I do like the 50 caliber. As you can see, quite a lot of firepower, but quite a large target. It's obviously there for amphibious assaults, but something I would personally not advise using. But very cool to add. So... Next, we have this 76mm GMC M18 Hellcat. This is a tank destroyer. Classed as a light vehicle, or a light tank. Obviously known for their pretty poor armour, but very good speed. Speed 80, so it's very nippy. And as you can see, it's armed with a 76mm gun. But it's quite a powerful tank destroyer gun. You know, it's got quite a lot of kick. And as you can see, it's got the armour piercing shells. It's got high PG. And it's also got smoke, which I love. And, as always, armed with the mighty 50 calibre on top. Which gives it a lot of firepower. And as you can see... This thing is quite a beast. It's got a lot of firepower. I'll just bump around through. Pretty good reload speed, and then obviously the 50. And I do like these American tank destroyers. Really are what like, true tank destroyers, I'd say. Very light, but very, very quick. They will punch through most medium German tanks. They might struggle against some of the heavier stuff, but still, it's packing a pretty strong main gun. So you're definitely going to get some good fight. And the actual range of that gun, if we just have a quick look, is, I believe it's about one. Oh, I think I'm still the 50 caliber. Let's let's move to the main gun. <laughs> uh, if we were to go on there, main gun's range is just shy of 200. So it's got very powerful long range main guns. That's fantastic. So the M18, the Hellcat, very known weapon system. This is the MLT and Hellcat late, and as you can see, it's just got a slightly more upgraded variant to the gun and different ammunition. As you can see, it has some H factories, a high velocity armor piercing rounds, has the smoke and has things. So it's just a basically a more upgraded version of the Hellcat. And the armor's the same, and the speed's the same. Fantastic, and as you can see, it's got a cool-looking muzzle brake on the tank, which I really like. So, yeah, very, two very good tanks, or tank destroyers. Obviously, go for the late version if you can get it, but still, the early version is fantastic. And obviously, the bazooka icons are still there. Next, we have the M24 Chaff, which was kind of a later war tank, I believe, the Chaff. 75mm main gun, bit of a not longest barrel. The armor is very light, speed's 56. It's got the 50 caliber as also. It's also got two 30 calibers and the smoke screen, like so. It's packing 18 high explosive, 20, 25 high explosive, I mean, 18 armor piercing high explosive, and 5 white phosphorus smoke, which obviously I love. I'm always going to show for white phosphorus. I'll, I'll fire some 50 caliber while we wait. Some 30s, we've got the coaxial, and the hull MG as well, which is great. And the smoke, the white phosphorus, I'm just going to demonstrate. Let's find some grass. As you can see, it will cause fire so you can burn troops out whilst you deploy smoke, which is fantastic. So the Chaff is a nice light tank. Pretty nimble, but too light in my opinion to be very, very effective. It will get absolutely caned. It does have a bit of sloped armor, but personally I would avoid it. But pretty cool to have that option as a support vehicle. Next we have some of my favorites. Obviously we have all the versions of these Stuarts here. Lots of Stuarts. Lots of Stuarts. So we have five Stuarts. We have all the way from the late. So we'll start with the basic early one. And obviously it's a fantastic little tank Stuart. All of them are fairly like the armor. It's slightly upgrades as you go along, as you can see. And the main difference is the gun eventually. I don't think the gun actually changes. The main gun doesn't change. The armor just gets a bit better. So if we go off the basic variant, as you can see, we'll just click through them. The ammunition gets larger on that mark. It has more ammo. It's the same type of weapon, though, I believe. So it's got that's got the L53. Yep, same gun, but more ammunition. And the ammunition is armor piercing and high explosive. Now, they all are armed with... I believe it's 430 calibers. We're just going to check through all of them right now. He's got 330 calibers. He has four. I think this is the early version. Oh, it jumped me around there. The early version is the one with the side 30 calibers. As you can see, it's got these side machine guns. 
Right, so you've got your coaxial, you've got your hull, you've got the door, and you've got the anti aircraft. So you've actually got five thirty calibers on that. This also has five thirty caliber machine guns, I believe. Yep. We'll shoot them again. And as you can see, these hull MGs, the dual thirty cal. Let's just demonstrate. As you can see, they're very forward facing, but definitely good for suppression. We get into this one. This then loses the side machine guns because they weren't particularly accurate. I believe that's why they got rid of them. They were a bit pointless, but you might personally like them. But he basically just gets a slightly more armored version. The gun isn't particularly too bad. It's thirty-seven mil. Obviously, look, it's pretty quick reloading, so it can pump out rounds quite quick. But the Stuart is a good light sport tank. It's a cool looking tank. I do like it. It does lack any kind of smoke screen, but it's a quite nimble little tank. Its speed is around fifty-eight. I believe they're all the same. And the range of the gun, I believe, let's just have a look at this one, because they're all the same variant. About 160, oh no, it's better, it's 170. Uh, just a momentary break there, and I'm back. So yeah, the Stewards are a solid tank choice. I do like the Stewards, I think they're good, and obviously, you can have the guy on the back with the 30, well, in the 30 caliber, which is fantastic. Shame it's not 50, but still pretty damn good. And last but not least, we have the self propelled gun variant, but it does class a light tank. It's got a 75mm howitzer, so... And it's on the M8 chassis, so I believe that is not is that steward chassis. Looks very similar, but this thing is obviously packing a 50 caliber and the you know, the 75 millimeter ammunition wise. It's got HE, high speed light tank, and white phosphorus. So let's pump a HE and see what it does. It's not a bad explosive weapon. I don't know. Let's have a look at its range. It's got attack ground. The range of such gun is about one. About 160, and I don't think it arc fires. No, not really, it's more of a direct fire. So there are better options for self propelled guns and support. It's also open top, which makes it very vulnerable. Armor's not too bad on the hull and the turret, but still, it will get punched through. But still, it gives you quite a few options, especially with the 75mm heat rounds. Obviously, the white phosphorus rounds will be quite good. There's also a thing to note, a lot of these vehicles can carry more troops. So for instance, this can carry an extra four troops on, they can ride on them. So many of these vehicles could have troops, obviously you have the extra guys stood on, but a lot of troops can ride on these, so you can ride small squads of US forces in, especially like extra four guys in there. So it is useful to kind of, if you want to do a mechanised rush with like tanks, maybe some units with things like M1 Garands or Thompsons, get them in quick into a town, jump them off and engage. But I think there's some really cool light vehicles there. The US has a great selection, and hopefully this video has shown you a few of them off and showed you some of their inventory and what you may be interested in using. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. You guys have a fantastic weekend.